So with the Yukon map just around the corner, I'm here going to give you my take on what the loadout you're going to be using if you have all the DLCs is probably going to look like. Also, if you don't have these weapons yet, these are the ones that you should focus on getting unlocked before the map drops. Now, if we take a quick look at the loadout that I'm running with or that I'm going to be running with, it is this. The Rangemaster 338, the 223, the 7mm and the Virant 22. Now, the Rangemaster, I would assume that the 300 is going to be as powerful maybe a little less maybe a little better but there is a pretty good chance it's going to weigh exactly the same as the 338 and it takes the same scopes so you will be able to fit the 300 instead of the 338 if my math has been correct but you're going to be using the 338 or the 300 for the grizzly the moose the plains bison these are weapon class for animals for the wolves and the caribou, you're going to be using the 7mm region magnum. Now, we're doing this because I have a big feeling that the wolves are probably going to be nearly as big as the puma. And you can use the 7mm on the puma. Also, I have a feeling the 270 wouldn't be powerful enough. So, it's a predator. My take is it's going to be a weapon class 3 animal. And we're going to be able to use the 7mm. For the red fox, you're going to be using the 223. And obviously the 22 is for the Harlequin Ducks. We do this because there's a lot of open areas with a lot of water it seems. So they might be way far out and the 22 is very easily able to reach at least 150. If you're good you can shoot them further out as well. And that should give you a few easy kills on ducks sitting on the water. And with this loadout you're going to be able to fit 5 callers as well. The Antler Rattler is going to be for the Caribou. The Beacon Deluxe Duck Caller is just a placeholder. I don't know if we're getting a Duck Caller. But either it's going to be the Duck Caller for the Harlequins or the Beacon Deluxe Duck Caller for the Ducks if you want to be able to call them in. I'm not going to be carrying it personally. But it can be in here. The Moose Caller is obviously for the Moose. The Predator Distress Phone Caller is going to be for the Bear. And the Jack Rabbit Caller is going to be for the red fox and i have a feeling that the wolves is going to be attracted to either the jackrabbit or the distress phone caller as well so we should not be getting a separate caller for them i feel you can also see that i'm carrying a first aid kit i do this because well we got wolves we got bisons we got grizzlies i have a pretty good idea that these are out to get you you probably do want to be carrying around a first aid kit for sites i only brought one side this is the Hyperion one. You could drop the Duck Caller and bring another side as well if you would like to have the Argus and the Hyperion, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. But with this loadout, I pretty much think that you're going to get full integrity, full quick kill on all animals, and you're not going to be hitting the maximum weight capacity without backpacks. Because as you all know, you really don't want to be using backpacks. They make too much noise and they make you way too visible. But use this as a guideline. If you don't yet have any of these weapons, you should be able to grind your way towards them. So it's not going to take that long when the reserve itself drops. Still don't know when the release date is. I don't know the price either. But what if I don't have any DLCs? Well, I think you should make a video about that then. Oh yeah, I did. Come check it out on my channel. So there's going to be a link to Flinter's video down in the description below. Make sure to go and check it out. I hope this was helpful. Yes, I know I did not include a bow in this, but you could pretty much just change any of the weapons and bring a bow instead. But this is what I'm going to be rocking with. Thank you so very much for watching.